one week before Mardi Gras. What's Mardi Gras? I don't know shit. Is this when he just got back from no? He's in his army stuff. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. <laughs> I was a Marine in the Pacific. You can take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't they don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. Okay. Well, he seemed friendly. I'm going back with the black mob, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You <laughs> seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. You <laughs> kissed my ass. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> my stepbrother. How was the trip? Because how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. <laughs> Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. <laughs> Damn right. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Mm. I gotta drive, right? This is cool. So it's kind of flashing back and then forward again. Uh, set route. Press options button to open the map, then press X at your destination. Uh, on the map, press square to view chapters and L to scroll through objectives. Okay. Wait. Press chapters. Chapters and objectives. I don't. I have no idea. But this is where I have to go. Oh, activate objective. A taste of the action. Turns out things back home may not be as quiet as you expected. The Bayou. Bayou Phantom. That sounds very dangerous. <laughs> Let's go. So Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, we've been climbing the walls. <laughs> what if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. <laughs> Don't say nothing about me telling you that. No, <laughs> I won't. <laughs> he's fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. I'm an impatient driver. <laughs> in this. Not in real life. In real life, I'm very patient. But in games. I don't like waiting. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Police awareness. The police will attack you if you commit crime, act suspiciously, or break traffic laws within range of their awareness. Police awareness is indicated by the police awareness indicator in the center of the screen. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. That's not a selling over. weed. They call and ask me if I want some. <laughs> I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. <laughs> we ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> he's right, though. Like got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. Heroin was pretty serious shit. Yeah. Threw a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Sounds like a bad George's idea. Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. 
Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. I've just got yeah. back. All right. <laughs> You're a little quick there, Ellis. Like, I've literally just got back from the war. Once you get settled in, I was thinking we could go to this new club in the French Ward. Mm -hmm. Maybe double dated. Well, who the hell am I going to go with? Your great Aunt Beatrice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? <laughs> that woman has the Ooh. droopiest, nastiest tits I've ever seen. Oh, no. <laughs> they were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Oh, God. Yeah, like that was a fucking accident. <laughs> hey, man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. <laughs> anyway, you'll go with Regine. Regine? Believe me, once you see her, you're going to want to dig right in. <laughs> Matter of fact. She got half the guys in the hollow sniffing around asking her out. Turns them off. Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask who's the back door. <laughs> okay. Dude, the music. I might have to black out the music for you guys if, uh, I don't want to say blackout. <laughs> Racist. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. <laughs> Copyright, you know. Boy. <laughs> I send you to bring Link on Clairhorn. Not the big nigga who ate him. <laughs> well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. Damn. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. Oh, is it love gone whiskey? I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... so proud of you. Aw, Dad. Oh, Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! He's not really my dad. That means welcome home, right? Good to see you. so good. Nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. <laughs> I really appreciate that, Father. Now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Alice. Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear, guilt, imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out, and every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then one day a door opens and you're free to go. Just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door. One way or another. <laughs> I love the footage of like, it's like it actually happened, the old style <laughs> footage. Going early in the morning. Hell man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. Dude, you don't know. <laughs> Go to bed. In the basement. I don't know why in the basement, but in the basement. Oh, there is a bed down here. 
a sofa and what looks like a Playboy. My guy. They were collectibles in two as well, I think. I can't remember if they were in one or not, but they were collectibles in two as well, for sure. Is there anything down here? Really good music. Yeah, like what I was trying to say earlier before I was rudely interrupted is that, um, <laughs> like, there probably will be some music I have to cut out for you guys because of copyright, but other ones I'll try and leave in where I can. Because the soundtrack is too good to just block it out completely. <laughs> oh shit. I had a bad dream. I had some nightmare type shit. Talk to Sammy and Ellis. Okay. Can I walk faster? This is as fast as I can walk at the moment, guys. I'm pushing the left stick all the way forward. I've held X to see if that will run. It does not. We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? Not something you need to worry about, Linka. I got it under control. You under control? Tell me. God damn it, you need to... Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. <laughs> damn. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind okay. telling me what's got him so riled up? Yeah. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, Do you... trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? <laughs> In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. Okay. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Okay. If you go say on. so. Those people waiting on their food. That's kind of cool. We're going to go and give out food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. Really? Damn. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. We're gonna go to war with the Haitians? That's what it sounds like. Most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. We're gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Right. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. I get to serve them? Serve the gumbo. This is cool. I like this. Here you go, man. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will do, sir. That wasn't the best looking gumbo I've ever seen in my life, I'm not gonna lie. Warm but meal, warm heart. Faux show. Faux show, my brother. Can I give him it? <laughs> there was no prompt, but I had to press square. <laughs> Thanks. You are most welcome. You got great hair and glasses. How hey. You been? It's been pretty good, man. 
Here is some gumbo for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So polite, Lincoln. A couple of days back and they already got you working? Yep. Ah, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Here you go, my man. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. It's no problem. Yo, this hair. Hey, lady. You gonna say anything? No? Here's some gumbo. <laughs> this is awkward. Take some food. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. I'll try. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. <laughs> nice to see those big brown eyes again. Yeah. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Yeah, maybe, maybe I will. <laughs> Lady, we got trouble. Run, what? Regine. Run, Regine. Once we're done with you, Lincoln, Sammy's next. Oh, my God. Oh. Vault cover. L and triangle. That's a weird button. That's a weird button combo. Bam! 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 Oh, he's not dead. Bam! Now you're done, son. Oh, he's got a gun. Alright, get his gun. Take his gun. What is this? What the hell? What does that mean? Why has he got a bag Francois, with shit? Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Baca? Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Yeah. Yeah, it might be. I nearly died. Six, sir. Uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on Velo started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Shit. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. This thing with the Haitians. It's time for it to end. Mm hmm You and Ellis need to handle it. Just the two of us? Find Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Mm hmm Call this number. But do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Okay. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. He's got a point. Do this quiet. Away from here. In the bayou. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. <laughs> I'll follow your lead. Soldier boy up in it. Be oh. careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. I won't. I'll just shoot them. C'est lié que c'est diverse c'est. I have no idea what that means. 